Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, and this time around, I'm bringing you a review of just uh, uh, all BA IEMs. Uh, and the focus is going to be on the KZ AS10 Pro and the KZ AS24 Pro. Uh, as an added bonus, um, I've thrown in here the um, Hartfield Blank or Blanc, um, which uh, you know I, I thought would make sense ultimately, since I do have other IEMs which have um, a, a similar configuration, and it, it just it just I just thought it would be a, a good measure to throw in this one. But the focus is going to be on these two KZs uh, and how they stand uh, compared to other KZ models, how they stand compared to some of my favorite um, uh, cheaper, let's say. All BA offerings, and then as well how they compare with the uh, with the Blanc. Um, anyway, um, the, well, there's there's two parts here. Let's put it that way. The first part is uh, the AES24 Pro, which is 12 BAs, um, you know, and the second part is the AES10 Pro, um, which is five BAs, um, and the ones that I have on top there, which is namely the Soundrime SR4 is 4, uh, the Hysenia T4 is 4, uh, the EPZ 520 is 5, the um, uh, C Audio Bravery is 4, and the Blanc is 5. So, with the exception of this, of these two, which is 12, the rest is all centered around 5 or 4 BAs. And I've got here the, the AS16 uh, Pro X, although it's an 8 BA. Uh, because it, it made sense to have it here so that we could compare it with the AS10 Pro and you guys can have a, a, an idea uh, of, of how well they stack against each other and how they ultimately also stack against the AS24 and the AS24 Pro and how they again also stack up against the other IEMs. Those four on top there um, are some of my favorite uh, op, op, you know, in, in terms of that sort of number of BAs of uh, five and 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 um, uh, and four BAs. Um, the high the high senior the T four is a fantastic I am. Uh, it's got the little tuning switches which you can adjust. I've got it in the one one setting, which is basically giving it a little bit more extension up top, uh, and it sounds really really nice. It's you know it's a, it's a it's a nice clean neutralish type of sound. It's really really pleasant uh, it gives you that BA magic uh, without going over the top and spoiling things and so forth the SR4 is in essence basically the same thing as as the uh, high senior T4 it just doesn't have the tuning switches and the, the tuning that it has is the same as that basically with the tuning switches on it's, it's a very similar tuning um, I'm not sure if they are made in the same place I would uh, say yes uh, that's my opinion uh, and they sound almost identical as well they sound 99% the same and again you get a nice neutralish type of sound the KZ uh, the KZ the EPZ the 520 is an older IEM it's an IEM that uh, you can also get the, the same exact IEM uh, under the Shozy branding uh, EPZ manufactures for Shozy EPZ is a manufacturer and that IEM uh, although it has a tuning which again is very uh, let's say non-conventional uh, it just comes together very nicely and just sounds you know very nice it just sounds these three actually have got a, a very kind of neutralish type of signature uh, which you know it just works the bravery it's got a, a QDC style of tuning which means the mids are forward uh, and um, you know you, you, you have then a, the, a nice energy coming from the bass, uh, loads of detail up top. You know it's one of those IEMs that you listen to it and you actually are surprised that there's only four BAs inside it because it it really is um, a very technical, uh, very technically capable, I uh, technically uh, capable, technical capable IEM. While these three here will be more musical with still a high level and a high degree of technicalities that one there is definitely technicalities are its thing uh, as for the KZ I've got uh, KZ's and then I'll get to the blank uh, lastly um, the AES16 Pro X was an update over the AES16 Pro uh, which uh, had mixed uh, feelings when it was um, launched um, without an impedance adapter it had a very early pin again, which emphasized the mids, made them very forward and kind of, it just made it sound off. And then post pin again, it had a, a, a big dip, which it just kind of 
didn't, it didn't work. Somehow there was something there that just didn't work. With the impedance adapter of 25 ohms, uh, that bump that you had there in the frequency response went away, and, and then you had a, a you know a, a pleasant, warmer type of sound, which was very easy to listen to, very very agreeable. Uh, and when the AS16 Pro X came out, I think all of us were thinking that they had uh, you know uh, made an improvement over that and basically maintained things under the same configuration. But no, they dropped one of the uh, 22955 BAs handling the bass. So there's, there's definitely less bass quantity. The quality is still there, but there's definitely less bass quantity comparing the Pro X with the Pro. But at the same time, then the uh, the above 2K area, let's say that way, was uh, overly or, or enthusiastically boosted. So it made it it made it a, a very high resolution type of IEM, very capable of a lot of details and twinklies and sparklies. But again, an IEM that more easily showcased the, the shortcomings of a BAs with that BA timbre and became fatiguing, you know, especially if you started pushing the volume, you had to choose your tips carefully, you had to choose your source carefully. Uh, so ultimately, I ended up doing a mod on it, which is very easy to do. And I recommend you guys do if you have this IEM. And trust me, you do this mod and you will be very impressed with the results that you will get. Um, the AS10 Pro now uh, is basically, in essence, uh, the AS16 Pro X minus a few BAs, and the overall sound that it has is a highly detailed sound. So very technically capable, very detailed, very loads of twinklies and sparklies, and you know. But at the same time, that over um, enthusiasm that was displayed by the tuner uh, in the 2K and above area uh, came at the cost of making then the IEM very fatiguing very quickly uh, if you are a, you know a, a high volume listener uh, actually you don't have to be a very high volume listener you know if you, the moment you start pushing the volume a little bit more you you very quickly run into that fatigue uh, because uh, if at lower volumes there's a, a nice balance between the frequency range on either one of them the moment you start pushing the volume that balance skews more towards the mids and the highs so definitely more mid more vocal centric these IMs more high resolution if you want to put it that way but that high, that high resolution uh, comes then with the, that price which is the BA timbre the, the the, the tonality being being somewhat pushed uh, and ultimately you know you 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 just get tired of it that's it so again i did a mod on it and with the mod uh, things came together very nicely very very nicely as24 um, um 12 ba top of the line 120 dollars when it was launched um it you used eight eight tuning switches you know had some switches to tune the mids the, the bass the mids the treble everything um a little bit small was a little bit of a hard uh, in case to to get them right but uh, i've always used them and i always found that the best setting for them is having this first group of, of switches all in the on position so i'm boosting the bass a little bit and then keeping the other set of switches all off and what that basically uh, made was a, or gave was a sound that was uh, very balanced, uh, a nice uh, coherence between bass, mids, and treble. Still loads of detail, still loads of technical cap. Well, technically capable. It was it, it was it was always, and it is. You know, some might argue, oh, but with the bass boosted, you. No, honestly, I don't think so because the the bass is boosted. Yes, but it is a, a BA bass, so it's quick. It doesn't linger. It doesn't. It's a nice, fast, clean, impactful bass. Uh, and I also the other reason why I don't use the second set of switches is by by using the other second set of switches what happens and when I show you the, the graphs later you'll understand you boosting that earlier pin again making a situation which was very similar to the situation of the original AS16 Pro which you had those very forward mids which just made things sound off things just sounded wrong um, so I don't recommend you, you honestly using those switches unless you're going to use the absolutely last one uh, which is number four which is going to boost the upper treble a little bit and you know that then okay fine it doesn't uh, you, you have no boosting of the mids uh, of, of so you know no early vocals but you have just a little bit extra detail up top in terms of the treble that's fine if you feel like it 
But as I was saying, with the, the, the setting that I use, which is 1111 and then 0000 on the, the, the tuning panels, uh, the sound of the AS24 is a really, really competent sound. And, and I recently um, had the AS24 together with a few other IEM, other BA IEMs, and I said that this was definitely uh, a, 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 a smart um, option for those that wanted to enter the all BA IEM game and you know didn't want to go straight away and jump into the the, the, the deep end of the pool and uh, go spend a lot of money i mean you can pick these up now for around a hundred dollars i've even seen them at, at just under a hundred dollars with some sales and some coupons and stuff uh, and yes definitely worthwhile it is definitely worthwhile uh, and and a, and a competent im very much so. Uh, the bass is a, a, a sort of a gliding style of bass, which is what you had as well uh, on, on the AS16 Pro X and on the AS10 Pro, um, with the mids then having this this nice enough energy, uh, you know, vocals, male and female, all about the same. Uh, instruments come across very nicely, tonally, without question. It is the one that's the most correct for me, at least. Um, I would say the AS10 Pro, with my mod comes very very close and uh, in, in in that and in that aspect i would say that the as10 pro with the mod okay is an a viable option for those that don't have the hundred dollars can only afford fifty dollars and you know want an all ba iem this is a very viable option uh the as16 pro x it's now even cheaper than what it was initially you can even get this now for like as low as forty dollars and again if you do the mod it is also a very viable option over the, the AS24. But to be honest, I think it's worthwhile just saving up and, and going straight away for, for, the, for the real deal, okay? So AS24, competent IM, I've always liked it. I always think it's a very, I've always thought of it as a very solid choice for those that want to enter the all BA game, okay? Now, enter the AS24 Pro. And the AS24 Pro has now uh, basically well maintained the same configuration in terms of BAs. There's only now one tuning, one one switch panel, which is not as versatile as the other one on the on the original AS24. Uh, basically, uh, what it does is change, in essence, the base level from uh, being more neutralish to then being boosted. It's it's basically that. Uh, uh, they state yet the switches three and four reduce the treble level. Well, they don't really reduce the treble level. It's uh, you know, uh, if you have the bass boosted and the treble is um, is is uh, left at zero, it's the same thing. If you now boost the bass, you then get a perception that the treble is changed. But uh, honestly, it hasn't. So, and I, when I show you the graphs, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so the tuning switches, yeah, in my opinion, are not working as well as they did on the original AS24. What has changed uh, uh, in, in very much is that instead of having the gliding style of bass that we had in the AS24, we now have a tucked style of bass. So the bass of the of the 22955, because this, this is a single 22955, this is a single 22, that's a single 22, that's a single 22. In terms of the bass, these three, the original AS24, the AS10 Pro, and the AS16 Pro X, in terms of bass, level, performance, sound, they are exactly the same. It's the same BA, same tune, everything. This one, by having that tucked bass, uh, has cleaned up the mid-bass presentation a little bit. Um, and coupled to the fact that now we have a pin again, which has changed slightly in its profile. So instead of it being fuller in that one to 3K area slightly, it's now a little bit more uh, dipped, a little bit more laid back. And what that has done is... Um, for me at least give us that given us a a, 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 a presentation of the the, 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 the as24 pro which is more kind of DD like there's still obviously that BA um, component there which means that the base is clean it's fast it's detailed it resolves very well on any of them by by, by the way uh, but the treble but the trebles my apology but the mid-range is where you see that the differences ha have occurred in in these iems while in the or with stock tuning now okay this is what stock tuning. while in this in stock tuning and this in stock tuning the mids are way too energetic and then 
quickly become uh, you know uh, colored and don't come across in the in the more correct manner tonally and and in timbre wise on the AS24 that you are able to correct because you have all those switches which you allow you to find the good the, uh, you know the, the perfect balance and if you don't boost those frequencies then yes the mids are significantly better than what they are here um, on here that is even been taken a further step forward so they are in my opinion even more polished than the mids of the AS24 even if they do sound maybe uh, or well even if you do think of them when you look at them visually on, on, on graph maybe more recessed they're not in my opinion they're not because whatever sort of recess or down uh, grade downgrade or down in level of of dbs let's put it that way that you have in the mids that's also been accompanied by the same thing in terms of the bass and by a tucking of the bass so instead of it the bass being you know gliding it now tucks in so that balance there that's been struck between the two extremes has been so nicely done that that overall sound is very similar just more polished on the as24 uh, pro um with the mods on these two the sound approximates itself now more to the AS24. And that's why I say that if you have an AS16 Pro X or if you have an AS10 Pro and you, you, you don't like the way it sounds because it's you know too energetic, on here you put two, you stack two 300 grade filters on the nozzle, you remove the, the, the stock filter that's there and you, you, you stack the two 300 grade filters and on here you remove the stock filter and you, and you put a 500 grade filter. Uh, so you know, so uh, filter basically from from the uh, from the sim got kit. So two three hundreds on here, one five hundred on there, and the sound that you're going to get is a sound very similar to the sound of the AS twenty four, which means there's no uh, there's a there's a, a significantly more controlled tre uh, tre mid and treble response, especially in the upper mids and treble. The BA. Um, uh, timbre is way more controlled there's no sibilance as there is in its stock format on either one of these so it, it becomes they become two very interesting all BAIMs to listen to okay and like I said you know if your budget is around the 40 to 60 dollars and you just cannot go any further these are two excellent entry level IMs into the into the uh, into the all BA game where if you have to ask me but Tony which one would you choose I would choose the AS10 Pro. That's just me, okay? I ultimately would choose this. I think this is... Uh, uh, here, the less... Less is more. Let's put it that way. Less BAs has given more performance here. As for the AS24 Pro, um, like I said, it's a more polished AS24. Uh, uh, the bass is very nicely executed. It's still got more than enough punch to give songs that I like listening to their desired, uh, you know, uh, impact and performance. So be it anything from, um, uh, you know, some uh, Vipiano, some, some. Uh, 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 let me see. Uh, let me give you an example. So, um, if I was to listen from something like, for example, um, uh, 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 cannot escape. Uh, by DJ Lashim, or if I go the opposite end and I listen to, for example, Hello by Adele, this is a way more competent IEM than these three, okay, and a more polished IEM than the original AS24. And since it costs roughly the same thing, this is, by the way, the tunable version, okay, because there's a non-tunable version which is cheaper, uh, and that and the tunable version is the one that I would recommend. I would say that if you are in the market of spending this kind of money for an all BA IEM, then definitely the AS24 Pro is the one to go for. It is a better option than the 24, unless you're getting the 24 for a significantly competitive price. If, you, if you're telling me, Tony, I can get the 24 for like $70, $70 or $80, then I'd say, okay, fine, that, that, then the AS24 makes sense. Um, otherwise, if you're gonna pay around 110 to 120 mark for either one of them, the Pro definitely, okay? It's a, it's a, if, even if you have switches which are not working as, compet as, as competently as they are on the 24, the tuning has been more polished and it, it compensates that, let's say, loss of versatility. Uh, and, it, and it just sounds really nice, okay? The reality is this, it sounds very, very nice. Period. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. Um, like uh, some of the songs that I like listening to, I mean, um, let me give you an example. 
uh, Riviera, the Bob Zob remix, or La Belle Dancers Regrets from Chris Botti. F- fantastic, seriously, very, very nice. Comfort Zone from uh, Comfort Zone from uh, from Larry Carlton, the live version, really, really nice. I mean, um, it, it it has the space, it has the technicalities, it, it gives you a really nice, satisfying, in, you know, engaging presentation. Analog by uh, by by Soul Persona and Princess Fraser again very well executed uh, elephant by carol duboc the the drums uh, everything the 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 symbols uh, very very nice i mean seriously very nice from dust to dawn for, by george duke the initial part of the song with the drums clean precise uh, very nicely executed honestly i know i'm repeating myself but i, I just can't find a, 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 another better word let's put it that way it is a very competent i am um Let's talk about Naya, about the blank from uh, Hartfield. Hartfield has had uh, a kind of a mix in terms of the IEMs that they have released. Um, some of them costing, you know, a little bit more than what ultimately in terms of performance they kind of uh, should cost. Um, this particular unit, I, I got it, I bought it from uh, from Linsol. Uh, they gave me a, a little bit of a, of a discount on it, so I, I thank Linsol for that, as they did as well for the AS24, by the way, uh, AS24 Pro and the AS10 Pro. Um, and like I said earlier, the, the heart field has got, uh, the blank has got a sound which is more proximal to the sound of those on top there, especially those three, the EPZ, the, 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 the high senior and, um, and the sound rhyme, uh, bass, uh, mids for the most are very similar. It's then only up top in the six and above area that this has got a little bit more energy and it's noticeable personally because my hearing is not what it used to be it didn't bug me although although i did find it a little bit more fatiguing if the volume was pushed higher so those three ultimately are more satisfying than this one in that aspect and the normal more usual listening volume uh, no no not no real issue there um, maybe maybe if I have the patience and the time I might attempt a small little mod here to see if it's easy to do and that can better control that response but when I show you the graphs now in a second you'll, you'll understand what I better better what I'm talking about but overall uh, base wise it's a clean mid bass presentation as is basically the presentation here of the of the SR4 and the, 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 the T4 and the EPZ these are more uh, mid bass focused as opposed to sub bass focused uh, uh, on the other hand the 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 the, the bravery is already got a little bit more sub bass although it's got very decent mid bass but it's already more sub bass focused I am not huge differences but it is um, these ones have a very neutral type of presentation in terms of the mids which is the same thing that you have here um, the upper mids here then in that this one the EPZ is probably the one that has the more tamed more relaxed mids out of the three this one then has mids which are very similar to the to the to the T4 and to the SR4 but then when we enter the upper mids and treble they start becoming more reminiscent of what we get there in the terms of, of in with, with with the bravery. However, the difference is that the bravery already has that energy coming from behind in terms of the early you know the early mids from above let's say one one point five k because of that early pin again that QDC style tuning. And the reality is somehow uh, and uh, uh, I mean uh, I don't know what magic they work there. It somehow works very well, uh, and it's. It's an IM that I can listen for at l- higher volumes than what I can, the blank. Uh, ultimately, you know, if I keep the, the, the volume higher, I will, t- I will endure the, the bravery for a longer period of time than where I will the, the blank. Um, I can't explain why. Perhaps that area there above six where this has got um, more energy in comparison to the, the one to, to six K area uh, is an area where I'm a little bit more sensitive. I don't know, maybe it could be, but it, it, it becomes a little bit more fatiguing, even though, even though, and I repeat, it doesn't bug me. It doesn't bug me. It's not a fatigue level, which is what I got, for example, in the case of the AS16 uh, Pro X in its stock format or the AS10 Pro in its stock format. I mean, these two in their stock format, it, it, it's very easy to begin to get tired of them. Honestly, very, very easy. It's, it, either you are listening to them just connected through a mobile phone and no dongle and you know really low power and low volume and then fine okay because the moment you give them a little bit more power it no 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 this on no it's on a different level it's it's more ca- more capable more 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 bearable well significantly more bearable um 
comparing uh, oh, well this is I forgot to mention prices yeah let me just say that the SR4 is about $175 that's $199 there's now some some discounts going uh, on at high senior and you can get that at a, a, a reduced price uh, I believe it's a $25 reduction 25 or 30 dollar reduction um, the EPZ it's about $180 the bravery 220 230 dollars um, the uh, AS16 Pro X like I mentioned it's about $40 this is about 55 to 60 this is around 120 for the tunable 100 for the non tunable um, that's about the same value and this is about $240 give or take uh, in terms of overall value for money which is the the best value for money here I would say uh, that the AS24 Pro takes takes the cake. Uh, it offers a hell of a lot of performance um, for relatively low money. Uh, comparing it to the Blanc, it's it's just a more polished IM than the Blanc. I mean, nothing against the Blanc. The Blanc is very competent, but it's just a more polished IM than the Blanc overall. Uh, better execution, not of the base really, but it's a better and a uh, and a more elegant execution of mids, upper mids, and treble, um, uh, uh, you know, above everything else. Uh, as, when I take now the the blank and I compare it to those up top there, compared to the um, to the high senior, uh, again uh, I, I have to 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 sorry high senior to the sound rhyme. Again, I have to. Pinned towards the the sound rhyme and pinned toward the T4 because they sound the same uh, as compared to the, the 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 blank because why because the balance that is being struck there in the frequencies in terms of mids upper mids and treble it's a just a more elegant one than the one that they've struck here okay I've tried I tried different cables this is not the stock cable by the way this is the the case that it brings with it comes in a very very simple package in terms of its uh, um, accessories it's it's a little bit on the on the the disappointing side I mean the shell is a beautiful shell the tips are actually the stock tips they're kind of the the lecture type tips and the shell itself is a very nice shell it is it's, it's it's a nice shell all white with this kind of gold flake on the on the on the on the face plate and on the actual body itself it's got the logo here on the side it's it's a very nice Nice shell. It looks the the business, but it for this price it deserved a significantly better cable uh, to make up, uh, you know, the, to 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 justify the price. Um, compared to the EPZ, they are just completely different in terms of presentation. Um, you know, it, it it will be more warmer, organic, musical, more technical, capable. Uh, compared to the uh, Bravery, the same situation more uh, technical uh, or highly technical or just technical uh, you know nice base execution so it's it's a it's a highly technical i am with a good level or good level of of musicality associated with it um so yeah i mean it, this is me not not um, it's not like i oh no the blank is not worth it or the blank or the blank is not good no the blank is fine it's good its problem or its biggest problem is it's just got a lot of very solid competitors at a slightly lower price those four there okay and then at a much lower price at half the value you can guess the as24 pro and the as24 is just a better im okay fine that's 12 bas this is five yeah, well okay if i have to compare it with the as10 pro which one would i what would i take uh, to be very honest with you i probably will still take the as10 pro uh, why because it ultimately is more fun and with the mod that i've done it actually is as competent and even more competent than the blank so you know, um, the, 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 this is a valid attempt. I'm not going to deny it, but they should have done a little bit more work, uh, you know, and also rethought maybe their marketing in terms of overall selling value, to make people you know become more attractive and take them more seriously. Because in essence, you know, at 240 dollars, you, you are expecting or, or your expectations are set pretty high, because that's the reality. The market now offers products which are. Uh, extremely high in their quality and what they offer in terms of value for money so there's got to be some some special source there to really make you uh, you know point your your dollars that that way and um, that's it guys i'll show you now the graphs and uh, we'll wrap it up hi guys welcome now to the graph section okay so the first graph i'm going to show you and i'm going to start with the 
with a hard field with a blank and then we talk about the cases okay this is the, the graph for the blank um, and as I, I alluded to you know above let's say 5k it starts getting a little bit energetic maybe a, as well a component of coupler related yeah and so on but it's it's a little bit more uh, energetic uh, up top here um, it's uh, helped out by the fact that it's a little bit recessed let's put it that way here in this area of the transition from mids to up mids and that kind of helps out um, so it, it I mean it sounds good it sounds fine it's got a nice healthy base more more focused in the mid base than anything else but you do notice there's that little extra amount of energy there which you know is, is just a little bit uh, can become a little bit fatiguing if you are listening for a long long time at very high volumes at normal high volume you know or mid volume it's it sounds fine it, it's it's good its biggest problem is the fact that we have a few other very competent IMs, and the, one of them is the Bravery, uh, I've just put up now, uh, and the Bravery uh, ultimately just matches, you know, uh, the, 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 the frequency here in terms of, of uh, bass to mids, upper mids and treble in a, in a more elegant, more balanced out manner, where you don't feel that this area here of the treble stands out. Uh, as much as it uh, as it does on on the on the heart field and so the heart field can sometimes give you the perception of uh, uh, maybe um, you know uh, kind of being disjointed okay you have bass and mids which are you know uh, good for the most part and then you have treble which has just been thrown in there kind of that kind of thing um, but as you can see uh, again normalize the 500 hertz uh, it, it's it's they 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 I mean the bravery is just a better sounding I am it's more elegant it's loads of detail it's got that QDC style early pina uh, and yeah that, that's it the other one that I selected was the the, the EPZ the, the the 520 and the EPZ 520 the base in terms of base again is very similar to the to the to the um, to the uh, hard field uh, and then yes you have kind of this up and down presentation here between the upper mids and the treble um, you know hurley pin again with the speak and so on and so forth but ultimately it all comes together quite nicely you don't really feel these peaks in a negative manner and it gives you a, a kind of a more warmer presentation not as detailed as the blank definitely but it gives you a more uh, a more warmer presentation which is just more more long lasting um, they will obviously be for two different crowds of people more technically inclined will take the blank the more organic will take the the epz and the other two uh, or the, uh, the 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 high senior the T4, which is this one again. It's a very almost identical sort of bass, but then it's this way that the mids, upper mids, and treble have been done that just conferred a kind of a, a neutrality and a balance which is very agreeable. This is with the one one switch on, by the way. And let me just quickly uh, take away this and put the the sound rhyme the SR4. And as you can see, the sound rhyme SR4. It's basically the same thing. Honestly, they are 99% the same thing in terms of their sound. Uh, I really could not pick up the differences yet, to be honest. So either one of them, when I compare them with the with the Blanc, they are just more polished executions. They are cheaper and they make the most sense in that the one that makes the still the most sense out of all of them is definitely the highest senior because of those switches. Uh, and it's, it's it, you know, if, if, if you told me which one would you choose, Tony, between the... The EPZ, uh, the the EPZ here, the EPZ, the high senior, the sound rhyme, and the blank. I would tell you the, the 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 high senior is the one I would choose, okay? Because it's the one that's got the best tuning when it comes to this style of execution. Um, the bravery also uh, wins my attention because the bravery is an IM that I've always enjoyed and I've always thought it's it's a, it's a very nicely tuned IM even even though it has a, a, a different style of tuning that you can see here uh, it can be perceived as more uh, let's say more colored but it's it's very nicely done it's it's a very detailed IM and it's not really here that you notice the difference between the the, the T4 and the and the, the the bravery it's more here in the the details up top okay um and that basically covers then here the the um the blank all right now on to the uh well the the, the as 10 pro and the as 24 pro i'm going to start with showing you the graph of the stock as 16 pro x okay oh just before i carry on i just wanted to bring your attention here to something remember that thing i always tell you to look for 
between 100 hertz, where that matches up there, what energy is up there. Okay, you can see what's happening here, right? Okay, look at, for example, the T4, and you'll understand why I say the T4 is more polished. 100 hertz, look where it matches between that 2 to 3K, like I said, and what you have above is so little that it ends up giving a nice, smooth presentation. All right, same thing happens here with the sound drain. See, 100 hertz, peaks, what's above that point, nice. Uh, even the EPZ with all of its uh, idiosyncrasies, uh, it still ends up balancing out itself in the sense that you know all of these peaks and dips kind of balance out them, themselves out and still gives a, a, a presentation which is uh, uh, relatively smooth. Now, when we enter the, uh, the, the KZ, the AS16 Pro X, let's take the 100 hertz. The 100 hertz. Look how much energy you have. It's not the peak that's the problem, it's what you then have above it. Yes, makes for a very detailed upper mids and treble galore, plenty of detail up there, but you don't have enough energy above 100 or below 100 hertz, above that point there of reference on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the AS16 Pro to compensate that excess amount of energy there. While in something like the uh, uh, T4, when you put there, oops, sorry, when you put the, the point there of 100 hertz, and even though the, the energy seems to be flat and going down, so there's kind of a neutral base presentation, it balances it out to that. Even on the blank, okay, the same situation, there, 100 hertz, you have a dip here, and then it's only that area there of six, seven, uh, five, six, seven K that's above that, that, uh, that marker established by the 100 hertz point. Okay, when we take the KZ, I'll just put the KZ now, yeah, you can understand, I've always also normalized it at 500 hertz. You look at that and you've got loads of energy up top there, loads, okay. That just makes for a very fatiguing um, uh, presentation on the long run and with higher volumes. And if at the same time I now take, well, not at the same time, but if I, uh, by, uh, let me just change here the color. Now, if I take the AS10, okay, and the AS10, even takes that further, the AS10 even further exacerbates that problem. There's way more energy there, way more energy there. It's just, it's just too much, it's just too much and not enough energy from behind to make up for, for things. Now, on the AS16, you plonk those two 300 grade filters like I, I had mentioned, okay, which is this one here, and that's what you get, okay. You've lowered that level significantly. What you do have in energy above that point is now enough to compensate. And ultimately the base presentation here is a base presentation which has got more of like a DD feel, although it's still got the quickness of the BAs, okay? Uh, and it just makes it a much more pleasant uh, listen. It, it's, it's completely different. And the same thing happens with the AS24. If I take the stock AS24, Okay, sorry, the AS24, the AS10 Pro. If I take the stock AS10 Pro and I now modify it, let me just change here the color with that 500 grade filter. Let me make this in blue. Okay, what happens? We now get a level that's come down significantly as well, but we've got plenty of energy there below 100 hertz to make up even for, for some uh, excesses that might occur here. So the overall, the presentation is still very technical, more technical than on the AS16 Pro X, but it's got a nice tonality, a nice timbre, and it's non-fatiguing, okay? Now, so let's leave this here, which is what we want. Let's take now the AS24 uh, with the setting that I use and see how it stacks up to the modified AS10 Pro. You see what I said when I mentioned that they sound and they kind of come together very nicely. If I was to uh, actually boost just the last switch on the second set of switches, the treble here would have gone up just a little bit more, a little bit more as well past 10K, and you would have had a slightly more technical capable IEM, but it's not that that would have made the AS24 any better. Honestly, the AS24 as it is with the settings that I use, which is 1111 on the first set, which is basically just boosting the bass, and then leaving the, the mids and treble untouched, it sounds phenomenal. Sounds really, really, really nice. Now, the AS24 Pro, and let me just quickly show you first the AS24 Pro in its two settings that you have. You have the one setting, which is with the switches down, 
and this is what you get a neutral base kind of presentation uh, I didn't particularly like this because what we get there when we take that 100 Hertz reference point and you can see what we have it's it's a lot of energy, uh, very, very technically capable, but a little bit too much for my liking. And that's why then I opted for the setting which has all the switches in the on position. And in that setting, okay, and now let's just balance these two out. We have that, what I've said already before. Look, 100 hertz, we now only have a little bit above there. And that just makes things come together in a completely different manner. It's it's a totally different IEM, and in my opinion, a, a better sounding IEM. Uh, because it goes from being, very, yes, very technically capable with all the switches down, but, um, you know, that high resolution comes at a price where you showcase the BA tam tambourine tonality to an IEM that then has a very nicely executed bass. Because, I mean, 100 hertz, it tucks in by 250, it's basically there flat, and that's it. Now, when I compare, the AS24 Pro with the AS10, the AS24 Pro, sorry, with the AS24, my apologies, okay, and now let's just also normalize this at 500 hertz, roughly, there we go, okay, what, what do we get? We get, um, like I said, a, a presentation that in the base, it's basically very similar, the biggest difference that occurs, oh, sorry, just a little bit little bit better there it's still not 100 percent. there we go a little bit better there but it's this area of the transition from mids to upper mids which has been in my opinion improved in the in the 24 pro the 24 pro by bringing this area down it makes the mid sound more natural uh, they don't sound as um, uh, as forward as pushed uh, and it, it kind of, I don't want to use this terminology because I don't really agree with this terminology, but it, always, it, it almost kind of gives it a meta type of feel in terms of the mids here, okay? Um, very, very nicely done mid-range. Very nicely done mid-range. And even if for not, no other reason, just because of this by itself, I think it, the AS24 Pro is a, a more sensible IEM to get under the same price circumstance than the 24. Nothing wrong with the 24, and if you have the 24, I'm not saying I'll get rid of it and go get, no, I'm not saying that, I mean, no. But the, the AS24 Pro, if you're buying from, from stock without, uh, you know, um, any, any price difference or any significant price difference between the two of them, the 24 Pro is the better IM. It's got a really, really nice execution. And just for the sake of, uh, the, the hell of comparing it. Let me just show you here the, the, the AS20, the AS10 Pro modified compared to these two so you guys can see how they, they stack up. Okay, and let's just normalize it. All right, there we go. So, AS10 Pro in blue modified with the 500 grade filter. It's basically an AS24 in the settings that I use, just a little bit more energetic up there in that area of the treble, okay? Um, which makes it then become a little bit less polished, definitely. The AS24 is the better execution, without a doubt. Uh, and the timbre and tonality of the 24 as well is better than the 10 Pro. But the 10 Pro, Modified is a competent alternative, let's put it that way. As for the 24 Pro, it's the better of the three. It's the best of the three, period. It's, it's simple. I'm not, I'm not going to carry on here. I mean, you can see um, the execution, the tuning has been very well done. Oops, what's going on here? Come on, focus. The execution has been very well done. Um, it, it, it just plays really well. Uh, and yeah, that that's it. I mean, guys, there's really not much more than I can say. I mean... For the 110, 120 dollars that it costs, it is a a very well tuned, very seriously tuned IEM, and and KZ once again has it disappointed. All right, as always, like and subscribe. Any questions, please feel free to ask me, and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. You take care now. Bye bye.